Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys a thrift haul. I love thrifting so much, which I will get into the reasons why I love to thrift, but today is all about all the goodies that I have found at the thrift store recently. I got all these things from either my local Goodwill or my local consignment store. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, my name is Michelle, welcome, and I do teaching and lifestyle content on my channel. I love to bring you guys just like a little bit about my life and also my career, which is teaching. I'm an art teacher. So if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to join our little YouTube family on here and be sure to also hit that push notification bell. That way you actually get notified when I upload. That way you don't miss any of my videos. All right guys, without further ado, let's see what I found at the thrift store. So this basket is full of goodies that I got at the thrift store, but before I get into them, I have four main reasons why I just absolutely love thrifting. And I did a video, a thrift with me video a while back and it was so much fun. So if that's something that you guys would like to see, if you want to see me actually go to the thrift store and find these items, definitely let me know in the comment section or just let me know by liking this video because like I said, it was a lot of fun and I could totally do that again. So my first reason for loving thrifting is the obvious, which is you see so much money. You can find such good items for so much cheaper than you would in this store. So that is by far my absolute favorite thing. If you are trying to save money, if you're trying to budget, go to your local thrift store, see what you can grab there instead of going into buying something brand new at your store. The second reason why I love thrifting is because it is so much better for the environment. These things could be sitting in a landfill and instead they're not. They're in your local thrift stores. Third reason why I love thrifting is because it's honestly just like one huge treasure hunt. I mean, when you were a kid, you love treasure hunts, they're fun, scavenger hunts. That's basically what thrifting is. You go to all these stores and you're sifting through everything. You have to have time though. I would say that's the one thing. Like you can't go to a thrift store in a rush. You have to have the time to go through everything and everything can be a possibility. Like don't write something off because it's not your size or it's in the men's section and you're a woman. Like look at everything and have that time and if you go into it with that mindset, it's seriously like one big treasure hunt and you never know what you're gonna find. With that also, you have to keep going. So I have gone to thrift stores so many times where it was a total bust, total miss, or I found nothing that I liked and then I would go again and find some things. And then the fourth reason why I love thrifting is because you guys know as an art teacher, I'm creative. I love thinking creatively and thrifting is a great way to just practice that creativity. So when you go into a thrift store, you kind of have to think creatively. How can these items be used in a different way? Maybe if you know how to sew and things like that, you could actually alter the clothes that you get for cheap there. I know that some people even go to thrift stores just for fabric. Like if you go into the section of curtains and stuff like that and blankets, people will go in and just get the fabric or maybe like an oversized dress that they like the fabric of. I've seen people on YouTube go in, they get that fabric and then they make like something for their kids or something like that and sew it. There are a lot of thrifting hacks online that are really fun to watch um, if that's something you're into, like buying an oversized pair of jeans, how do I make these work for me? I got them for $3 and I want them to be able to fit. So sometimes it just takes like a quick needle and thread or even just using an item differently to make it work for you. And that's why I love thrifting because it is, it really gears towards people who I think are just a little bit creative. All right, so what items did I get from the thrift store? The first one I actually am wearing right now, it is this tan, nice like top slash sweater. It is a little bit baggy, but I like that. This is actually a 3X. So when I said don't write off something just because it's not your size, example A, it is a 3X and it fits me like a tunic would. I wear it with leggings and it comes pretty low. I tuck in the front to give it a little more shape and then I just rolled up the sleeves and kind of have them up a little bit too. And it has this really pretty collar which I love. Um, this shirt was a little over $2 and it's a neutral color which I just I gravitate towards neutral so a tip for going through the thrift store is know that like what colors you like I like neutrals I like blacks and whites and tans you know those kind of colors I like pastels sometimes too so when I'm panning through everything I'm looking with my eyes for those colors I'm also looking for material this specific time at the thrift store I was looking for kind of more like 
chunky sweaters and stuff like that since it is winter and so that's the material that I was looking for. I wasn't looking for necessarily like a flowy top material. That will really help you when you're panning through all the different shirts. It just makes it easier on your eyes. You narrow it down and you can pinpoint those things. This was one of those things. I really like it. It's super cozy and I, like I said I got it for a little over two dollars so you can't beat that. Everything else I have is in this basket so I'm going to be pulling from that but I'm going to stick with clothing for now and another shirt that I got that same day for a little over two dollars was this just nice striped kind of like bluish black top it's like a t-shirt top kind of but like fancier and it actually has this really pretty like the stripes are not just white and you probably can't see that on camera so I'll do a close-up but it's almost like a lace and like a braided um, material into the white stripes and it's a really good quality it's thick it's not super thin or anything I'm gonna be honest I'm not crazy on brand names I don't know a lot of high-end brand names or brand names really in general unless it's like Target brands or Old Navy <laughs> but that's really it I know a lot of people can look at the brand name and they know how much it's worth originally I don't um, but this one is, let's see, this one's Basic Editions. This one that I'm wearing right now is Napa Valley. I will say I did that Thrift With Me video a while back, and I got a pea coat during that Thrift With Me, and it was actually a subscriber who told me, like, the brand, and it's worth, like, a good bit. Like, it was a really good coat, and I think I got that coat for, like, $8. And it was, like, a $100 coat, so that was a win but if you know brand names that's really fun too when you're thrifting to kind of like sift through and look for different brand names I don't really care I just go by how it looks and if I like it or not and this one definitely fit that because it was super cute I feel like you could wear it with jeans white jeans would look awesome with this so both of these I got for $4.75 my Goodwill was having a 50% off day I did not know that going into Goodwill, so it was one crowded, um, but also I would think I would have bought some other items had I known that, so be sure to always know what sales and things are going on. Goodwill does a lot of good deals. Another blue and white top. This one is a chunky sweater. I got this from the men's section, and it is a Land's End sweater. I do know that brand. Very chunky, very cozy. This would also look really cute with some white jeans. I've worn it just with leggings like around the house, and I love the material. It's so warm. It's good quality and that's really what I love to look for at the thrift stores like stuff that's cheap but it's actually like really good quality because then you're really getting a bang for your buck. So this is a Bass Pro Shop fleece and if you know anything about Bass Pro Shop they have really good outerwear clothing but they're not like the cheapest I would say. Um, so I know that this one was probably in the store worth a good bit and I got it for $5 I want to say. Or no it was supposed to be $5 the Google cashier rang it up for 9 which I didn't notice till later which was a total bummer but still $9 and it was probably worth a good bit. This sweater I forgot to mention was $5 so $5 and $9 and I have been wearing this all the time. It has a zip up. It has pockets. I love the olive green color. That's very me. And it's great when I'm hiking and I'm being outside and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm kind of like house stuff or just other things. Um, these I found at my consignment store and I thought they were the cutest things ever. These are placemats, but I, like I said, you have to think creatively. I don't really use placemats ever, so um, I was thinking, well, I love how this looks. Look at the cute little tassels on there, too. That's just adorable. So how can I use this differently? So I've been using these under things around my house just to kind of like emphasize different things. Like I'll lay this on the table. I'll put a plant on it or something like that. I'll put it on a tray. But if you're into placemats, like you would probably love this. I just don't use placemats. But I think it's so cute with the little bamboo sticks and then the little phrase on it. It's just so cute. So I got two of those and I think they were $2 a piece. I don't know why I love trays so much, but I do. I actually have an excessive amount of trays uh, for whatever reason. And I found this cute bamboo tray at goodwill it was $1.99 and um I mean you can't beat that but I love the basket the bamboo I love like that natural wood color so I've been using this on our kitchen stove and we just put kind of stuff on there that to save counter space and then it's nice because I can just lift up the tray instead of moving all of that stuff and it saves space and it's really cute you will see there is some dirt on these because I have been wearing them a lot because I love them so 
much and it's been a muddy mess here so if you see mud that's why but i found cowgirl boots at my consignment store for ten dollars and i do know a few brands of cowgirl boots i would say that is the area that i i do know brands of and i instantly looked at the brand for this looked it up to find the boot before i bought it because it was just kind of like a off-brand like cheap cowgirl boot i was like eh, ten dollars i don't need another cowgirl boot but then i looked it up and these boots originally were over a hundred dollars so when i saw these i was so excited now if buying like used boots kind of skeezes you out just you can wipe them out inside you can lice all them they'll be good as new these were in really good shape though i don't even know how much they were honestly worn they're a little worn in because i can tell from the leather but they were in excellent condition and the last item that i have for this thrift haul is this basket this huge beautiful basket i don't know about you guys but i love baskets goodwill has so many baskets if you want a basket go to goodwill don't buy baskets at target or michaels or something like that because they're just so expensive now i don't know why they are but it, they are and if you have the patience to wait and to go to your goodwill and look for the type of basket that you want like it's bound to be there there's always so many and i'm always so tempted to get them but like i have to stop i can't i can't keep buying baskets so this one though i thought was nice because it's big enough that i could use it for laundry or something like that you could put blankets in this and hold them like this is a basket that's not just gonna look cute it actually has a purpose and i really really like it it has nice wood handles it's big, it's deep, it's $6.99, and I, you can't beat that when they're selling baskets like this for, oh my gosh, this size, maybe 30 maybe. I want to say, like, at Target, the ones I was looking at, they were smaller than this, and they were around $25, $30, so I don't even know what this would be at the store, but I know it wouldn't be $6.99. All right, so that is everything that I got for this thrift haul. If you want to see more thrift hauls, just let me know. And again, if you want to see me actually go thrifting and do a thrift with me, be sure to leave me a comment below or like this video. That way I know you like this kind of content and I can keep creating it because thrifting is so fun and I would like to bring you guys along for another one. That was a great video. I will actually leave that video down in the description box so you can check it out. If you are interested in following me along on Instagram, I will insert my Instagram handle on the screen and that way you can go ahead and do that I try to post on there pretty frequently and that way you can catch up with me on Instagram as well as YouTube all right guys thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe before you go and I will catch you guys in my next video bye